wow, just when I did a video on Miraculous that is not going to be put on now, or maybe it's going to be delayed. This one's going to be rushed very, very fast. <clears throat> well, technically, they finished Miraculous Season 3. Apparently, it finished in December, and then it was released in February 1st, and I finally got it at the end of April. So they ended it with a two-parter, and I do have to admit, crazy enough, there are some amazing bombshells, and it's just, they definitely kind of sort of topped what they did in season two. So, like in another video I made, which is, Chloe set her own self up to not be a hero anymore. She sure did, and just like what stats Hawk Moth used that to an advantage because out of all the people who actually owns a Miraculous or wears one, she's the one that everyone knows has one. And that's what he used in this two-parter. So what happened in two-parter? Well, it's very simple. It turns out that they decided to set something up. And what they did is set up a messed up um, akumatized couple, which apparently yeah, he so set them up. He made them into a, a Akuma, and then after that, he basically used that to lure Chloe to actually want to be a hero. So, thank goodness she actually got him to dekumatize her own parents, and then she got the Miraculous back. And meantime, the freaking um, Akuma that was rampaging was too much for Ladybug, and sadly, it's like, they did, it was well written, it's like, oh man, it's well written, the complexities, the relationships, and all that stuff, it's been well done, so, Cat Noir is with his somewhat potential girlfriend, and Ladybug actually had to deal with it alone, and then she had no choice but to go to Master Fu, which, I thought he left town, but instead of leaving town, he actually is now at a boutique, which I'm like, I definitely had to have missed some episodes. It's like, yeah, sadly, when it comes to season three, there were some episodes I most likely missed actually would be in good context. But, well, lo and behold, oh, well, whatever. So they did follow her. He thought that it was just only the peacock. Only she, the wielder of the peacock, Miraculous, was following her. But of course, Hawkmoth was following too. So she lost her, but Hawkmoth was hot on her trail. And she was able to get the dragon Miraculous because that would be somewhat useful. And Hawkmoth went and actually stole the box and took Master Fu because, well, he didn't actually, he didn't want to tell who is the miraculous wielders of, of course, the Ladybug, who's Ladybug Cat Noir. He didn't want to tell him. And he had a nice shield and he had that shield up for a long time. So meanwhile, Chloe has been akumatized and she got to have the miraculous box. And now she actually exposed everyone who had a miraculous everyone's exposed everyone that had a miraculous is exposed and it's like oh jeez oh man so everyone is like chloe knows who the miraculous wilders are except for ladybug cat noir and hawk moth knows because he was actually there as she was doing it that's just a total dang it that's just a total dang it <clears throat> So she was actually going to be now Queen Miraculous, who she actually, so it's basically, she technically was stolen, obtained a job of doing what was going to happen with Ladybug soon. And, well, it actually ended very, very badly because, thank goodness, and oh my gosh, the freaking um Snake Miraculous it's a nightmare to deal with when it comes to storylines. It really is a nightmare. It's like, oh my gosh, are we going to repeat over and over and over again? Thank goodness they were able to stop that quick. And it's like, yeah, thank goodness. Oh man, that's, that's going to be one to really have to deal with. <clears throat> so, of course the heroes win, but at a cost. It's like heroes win at a cost. And Chloe actually tried to do some miraculous tried to actually you wield like at least six or seven and thank goodness she didn't 
But I thought she was going to actually just meet her own demise by that. I'm like, okay, well, you just got rid of that character. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks. But she led that demise herself where actually she was being flamboyant and messed up and actually revealed herself actually being Queen Bee. She already did that and already did the damage. And now she's going to lead to the messed up damage of where not only she got the miraculous back but then she ended herself by wielding so many and overwhelming overwhelming herself which of course she doesn't know how to actually combine them and of course in this episode we actually had cat noir combined for the very first time and of course the snake miraculous technically kind of sort of he actually should have already combined with it beforehand but mm. we got to see ladybug fuse with the dragon miraculous and I don't know why in the world do I remember when that debuted? I think I did see it. It's just has been so spread out that I don't really remember for sure. So they took down Queen B, Queen Miraculous, whatever you want to call her. It's like, yeah, she didn't even turn into Queen Wasp. He just manipulated and turned her into something else. Was so just like, oh, okay, that can happen. So it's not like you're destined to stay the same akumatized version as you were you actually will change which i i know the couple did change aria and yeah they did actually change to something else but that's because they both were together i technically think it's like that but apparently yes you can change and maneuver and you understand what i'm saying so it basically ends where <clears throat> excuse me it basically ends where the Master C Master Fu actually had no choice but to say, A, hey, I now declare myself not a guardian anymore. Ladybug is a guardian now. <laughs> so now she has to guard all the miraculouses. She's now the owner. And well, of course this the protection shattered and he is out for the down for the count. And of course it's a total shame and He's like, oh, great, we just lost again. And Hawk Moth leaves with his somewhat girl, technically secretary. And basically, it turns out when you pass on the guardianship, you all your memories wipe clean. And I'm like, whoa, 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 you can't tell me all his memories completely wiped clean. Like ever since he was a kid to now. Yes, all wiped clean. Jeez, thank at least they gave him a proper ending of where it's like at least the, the woman he had to not be with for decades she did come to get him and he does know he has a feeling of knowing her for all his life the fact of that there's a flame between the two thank goodness for that and he gets to live happily ever after but it does bring to the question of oh dang so that means that when she is going to pass it on she'll completely blank and now all her memories are gone it's like oh jeez oh man that sucks but we have good news and who knows maybe the good news could actually help so you already know that the peacock miraculous is destroyed it's damaged but apparently they deciphered something on the box or whatever to fix it. And well, lo and behold, guess what? He fixed it. Yeah, Hawk Moth fixed it. Now it's a fixed peacock. The only question is because, well, remember, previously it was the damage of the miraculous that seeps upon the person. Since it's he fixed, shouldn't it mean that if the person who was wearing it before it got damaged, would it actually reverse the process? That's the real question here. And it's kind of funny that no one's really answering that question. Instead, it's more of the fact that he wants to get the two miraculous and that could actually save his wife from the peacock miraculous side effects. His his um secretary too suffered from it, and we don't even know if she's actually gonna make it. Hopefully she does. Hopefully she just needs some rest. Meanwhile, the real question is, what did the what did Adrian's mom do to strain so much? What did she do? And I don't think she was a bad guy. I can't believe she's a bad guy. But I believe even though there's no reports or anything of it, which is like, 
that's really messed up where it's like, yeah, I would have loved it. The fact that she was actually a good guy and she was using miraculous to help save people. But the sad part is that it took a toll and she actually did do so much good. And in the end, well, she's actually not even mentioned or a footnote. And it's like, geez, so it couldn't be that. So I wonder what exactly did she do? to get into this messed up mishap not to mention apparently i'd even clock in how many times she wore the miraculous the secretary but how long she took we should actually count that and add one more to where it's like oh one more of those and he she would just be just like adrian's mom the sad part is that even though he kind of cares he still cares for his wife and as soon as his wife is revived who cares about the secretary <laughs> and the secretary has to drop her feelings because his wife is back. So anyways, that's basically it is that Marinette now has the miraculous. She doesn't have to go to master Fu for the miraculouses anymore. Instead, she most likely has to return home or figure out somewhere to put it to where it's like easy access. So we don't know how that's going to work for sure, but we're just going to have to see the fact of now we have Adrian with the, let's say the dragon miraculous wilder and um, Marinette is with the snake, a miraculous wilder. And it's kind of funny being like, well, she knows his identity and it's kind of like, Ooh, then shouldn't she not actually be dating him? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of like, okay. I don't know for sure. It's like, I don't know. And plus, you can now break rules because the master is gone. So, yeah, I, I don't know. It's like, I don't know at all. Anyways, that's basically it. That's season, the end of season three in a nutshell. It's the fact that they made a big up and Chloe has officially supremely screwed herself of chances of becoming Queen Bee again. And it sucks that the poor guy that was a part of the be miraculous he was gonna try to talk but she just cut him off and it's like wonder what he was gonna tell her what exactly what he would actually tell her is this wrong this is not a good idea i would like to know what exactly what he was gonna tell her but yeah she officially doomed herself and now she actually has even worse than what she had before previously instead of doing the whole wanted one to assist one to help one to assist now is more of the fact of she hates ladybug now and she actually proved herself 100 percent can't be a hero anymore she is now basically a villain and it's like that sucks oh my gosh that sucks it's like she did it to herself. It's like at the very beginning, she did it to herself. And there's nothing that can actually have helped her. It's like nothing. So I don't know if I should feel sorry for Chloe. And you kind of should. But this is still all her fault. If she would have been responsible to the very beginning, even though she didn't supposed to get to be miraculous in the first place. If she was more responsible and be like, hey, I have a power, I have a gift, I can be a hero. She should have actually at least swallowed her pride and be a hero without taking any glory or anything. But no, she didn't do that. And that's what got her all to way to here. Now, the worst part is, will Hawk Moth actually use Chloe just like he uses... Um, I'm just going to say the lying girl over there. <laughs> and it's kind of funny. Where was she in this whole entire episode? <laughs> it's like, yeah, where was she in this whole entire episode? That was, that's a, a two parter. Where was she in this whole entire thing? That has to be a good question. But anyways, glad to finally have this done. I was waiting for the episodes and it just got very, very strained, but Hey, season three, the end of season three did not disappoint. And Pete Cock Miraculous is now back in full swing. The only question is, is how, yeah, it's going to be even worse now. It's going to be even worse. The only question is, will the secretary be able to actually wield it again this time? Will it actually have healing properties? 
that's the real question it's like yeah and if it has healing properties because it's the one that hurt everyone well the two people then it should be able to actually heal them both but of course that's an easy fix to actually it's like yeah but then why would hawk moth continue on if this is his real goal which is to bring his wife back yeah, I mean, it's kind of the whole Mr. Freeze issue of where it's like he's stealing just to make sure he's able to heal his wife. A sad story, but you do have to admit, though, there are some messed up brutalities and he's worse than Mr. Freeze, by the way. He, he mm, just man, what just man.